Hey guys, Lloyd Tack of Coverall Auto Restoration. Today I used a new product to me, which is Clawson's All You Need. A direct two metal, polyester, uh, basically a spray on body filler. It's supposed to be able to go all the way from steel to a final. We probably won't do that, but I wanted to try it out on this uh, 52 pickup truck hood we're doing because all them old panels are wavy and beat up. So we did body work on steel, then cleaned it off. I used acetone to clean the metal and then blew it off really well to dry it. Then we went direct to spray. Now what I did, according to their instructions, they want a mid-wet coat put on. Well, I sprayed it as I did enamel back in the 80s with a light coat to get it sticky, basically one coat, and the stuff was somewhat translucent. You could still see the steel through the first coat. So after reading their instructions, a coat is actually three passes with your gun. Uh, I wouldn't advise that. I did one sticky one and then came back with, just like I would spray enamel, uh, good solid coats. And I did four like that. So according to their, their directions, that's like one and a half of their coats to, to get the build. And the build I went with was basically to eliminate seeing the rings from uh, the filler or indentations. Uh, hopefully this will save us the step of epoxy, polyester, or not polyester, but uh, 2K primers and then blocking and having to reprime and block again. So we're gonna try it, see how it goes. And uh, I thought this old truck hood would be perfect for that. So this has been sprayed. And as you can see here, I started blocking it. And you can see the by the guide coat that's built in this material, which is really nice. Uh, you can see the difference. You can see the lows that we have here and uh, it shows up right away. I hit it with uh, 150 to start and as you can see it, it does not plug the sandpaper which my uh, sanding guy is gonna love. Saves on the paper too. So so far I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it reminds me of the Eckler spray gel coat that you use over fiberglass on Corvettes which is probably very similar because it's polyester uh, but here you see we knocked down that orange peel pretty quickly I just barely hit that I like to save that work for uh, the other guy but here's my finished look of it you can see that in the light you can see the orange peel to it which is not a big deal it knocks down quick so the other thing I found by reading their directions, and, and we did it exactly by their directions, I didn't want to, uh, to mess that up off the get-go, I used these. That's a oil-filled electric heater and put it right under the panels and then I have a uh, temperature gun that shows me the exact temperature of the top of the panel which I had to use here because it's still winter here in Ohio and it's hard to get these panels heated up to the 70 degrees, 70 to 80 that they want for this. But it obviously works if you do it according to their directions. That's an obvious low spot that I have plenty of material here to work to get down to that. And according to their guidelines, if we don't get down there, this does not have to be resanded. You can spray over this. So we can spray that filler in here in the future if we don't knock all that down. I'm very hopeful this is a good material because it'll save us a lot of time between the epoxies and uh, 2K primers that shrink. This is supposed to be a no shrinking type primer so so good for me. I will uh, update another video later on when we get this blocked out I'll see what my sander thinks 
And you can check us out at coveralautorestoration.com. See the jobs that are going on. I'll probably put this video on there. And I've got a few other ones on uh, YouTube you can check out if you're into steel repair. We've got a bunch of that going on now. This is a 76 Nova in here that's ready for paint. We're going to wait for the weather to warm up a little bit before we shoot that. And you'll see the other ones on the site. So thanks for uh, the time and check us out, coveralauto.com.